Welcome to the Spirituality of Gardening seminar. I'm so glad that you've decided to join us for this. I'm really excited about it. It's one of my favorite seminars to do. I actually started speaking about this during the last recession in 2008, where I watched people get out into the garden and come alive as they got their hands in the dirt. But what I was concerned about then was that many of those people didn't seem to know how to connect what was happening in their gardens to what was going on in their faith. And I'm concerned about the same thing as we go into uh, the coming period where many people are predicting that we're once again going to be in recession. Um, you know, plant nurseries and online seed stores have been absolutely overwhelmed with people buying plants and buying seeds that they want to um, put in the ground. Many of them novice gardeners that have never gotten their hands in the dirt before. But I'm concerned again that many of these people might get their hands in the dirt, but they won't know how to connect what they're doing to their faith. And yet for me, it has been such an enriching experience for my faith. Uh, it has connected me to the story of God in ways that I never expected. It has deepened my faith in a God who is generous and creative. And it has also helped to connect me to the rhythms of God that are inherent in the garden and in the world around us and yet that we rarely take notice of. So I'm excited about this because I recognize that every time we plant a seed, we live out the life, death and resurrection of Christ. Every time we put it in the ground and we watch it burst into life, there is that hope and there is that promise of new life that we receive in the presence of Jesus Christ. So, what is this course about? So the course goals are firstly to enable you to connect more deeply to the story of God which is woven throughout all creation. Secondly, to help you rediscover gardening as a spiritual practice. And thirdly, to encourage you to connect more intimately to the God who is woven into the very fabric of our world. Now, there are six modules to this course. And I must confess that at this point in time, they're a little bit flexible in terms of what is going to be in them because of the fact that there is so much that I'd like to share with you that I'll probably be improvising right up until the last minute. But I can tell you that this course will connect you more deeply to the story of God. It will connect you to many of the experiences that go on in the garden that have incredible uh, influence on our faith and hopefully it will help you to develop a more balanced rhythm to your life that flows out of what you're doing in the garden as well. What will you need? Okay, you will need a desire to get your hands dirty in the garden. You will need a space to garden and that may only be a window box. You don't have to have a big garden like we have here in order to become a gardener. Uh, or you might have a backyard garden. You'll need some potting soil some pots and some seeds and we'll talk about that a little as the sessions go on and lastly you'll need a heart open to the God of all creation uh, and to the lessons that you can learn in the garden what will you receive you will receive a digital copy of to garden with God a handout for each module as you go through a set of unique illustrated prayer cards used in the session 90 days of access to the course and an invitation to a monthly online webinar which will be especially for the attendees of this course. So the format, generally speaking, we're going to start each session with an introductory prayer or, or a liturgy, then I'll do a presentation for 10 to 15 minutes and then there's going to be a 5 to 10 minute presentation from another gardener, many of them master gardeners, who will tell about their experiences in the garden, some of them involved in community gardens in their neighbourhood, and tell you what it is that they get out of gardening and the ways that it connects them to God and to their spirituality. And then lastly, there'll be an invitation to reflect and an activity uh, for you to do before the next session. So just to give you an idea, these activities aren't necessarily going to be big. And so what I'd ask of you is that before you take the next module, that you go out and you get um, a handful of dirt from your garden. Hopefully some really good fertile dirt. 
uh, because the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a blessing for the garden. And so what I'd like you to do is to take that handful of dirt and to smell it and to write down your reflections as you do that. So this time we didn't start with a prayer, but I'm going to end with a prayer. And this is a prayer that I usually use at the beginning of my um, To Garden With God seminars. It's a prayer that's written... It's a Native American prayer written by a, a Ute chief, Chief Yellow Lark. And it's just a beautiful prayer that I think, you know, again, might give you some ideas of the things that you want to reflect on before you go out and do the next session. Oh, and by the way, that was our dog Goldie that you saw, and she'll probably wander in and out at different times in the different sessions. But I think that she's such an integral part of what we do in the garden that she's uh, got to be a part of these sessions as well. So let's pray. Earth, teach me stillness as the grasses are stilled with light. Earth, teach me suffering as old stones suffer with memory. Earth, teach me humility as blossoms are humble with beginning. Earth, Teach me caring as the mother who secures her young. Earth, teach me courage as the tree which stands alone. Earth, teach me limitation as the ant which crawls in the ground. Earth, teach me freedom as the eagle which soars in the sky. Earth, teach me resignation as the leaves which die in the fall. Earth, teach me regeneration, as the seed which rises in the spring. Earth, teach me to forget myself, as melted snow forgets its life. Earth, teach me to remember kindness, as dry fields weep in the rain. So go through that reflection and think about some of the things that you've already learnt in your experiences in the garden and come back for the next module ready to attend and to learn more.